The water for the most part here at Knollwood Apartments has subsided, but that was not the case early this morning when all of these cars were covered with water. I looked outside and it was a lake. Every single car that is here was underwater and uh, there was one car that was floating down the parking lot. That's the scene Terry Herzl woke up to Friday morning outside her townhouse in Grambling Township. Then she walked downstairs. The water from the door wall started coming through the house. The heat ducts were gurgling water because there was so much water in the basement. Water and sewage still fill Herzl's basement as well as her neighbors. The water line outside shows how deep it once was. The police department and the fire department was here rescuing people in boats because no one could get out of their home. The apartment complex says they can't say for sure how many of their 648 units were affected. An outside restoration company was already hard at work Friday afternoon assessing the damage. But for Herzl and her neighbors, you can't put a price tag on it. A whole lot of memories, things that we have to replace and starting over, uh, it's, uh, it's traumatic. The families tell me now all that's left is to rely on the kindness of others and begin to pick up the pieces. In Grand Lake Township, Jamie Edmonds, NBC 25.